When we look at the ITTOs associated with Perform Integrated Change Control, we see a lot of complexity here, and it's hard to make sense of this. But if we zoom out and look at a larger picture, we see this pattern. And I'm going to break this down to help you understand what's happening here. So first, we see change requests coming out of the monitoring process into Perform Integrated Change Control, where we're going to review all the change requests and either approve them or reject them. So that looks like this in our diagram. We see change requests also coming from many other processes in other knowledge areas, which looks like this. A whole bunch of processes, mostly control, but a lot of execution, and even some planning processes. And they all need to go through Perform Integrated Change Control to be reviewed and approved or rejected. We see change requests also coming from direct and managed project work in the execution process group. Now approved change requests, they all need to go up to direct and manage project work. That's where we're doing all of the work of the project. So that's where we're going to implement these approved change requests. And that looks like this. And then we see these project documents and project documents updates. What's happening here is all of our change requests get logged. And we don't see any explicit information flows to or from the change log. We read from and write to the change log through these rather subtle project documents and project documents updates. Now approved change requests also go through a check loop, which looks like this. They come through control quality, where we're going to check and make sure they were implemented successfully. And once we've verified that, we'll update the change log to reflect that through project documents updates again. Approved change request goes to one other process. It comes into control procurements if they relate to procurements. So here we are back to our ITTOs and Perform Integrated Change Control. We see this scattershot pattern here, really hard to make sense of it. But when we zoom out, we see this uh, exquisite pattern uh, and, and we can see how this Perform Integrated Change Control process within the Integration Knowledge Area is feeding to and receiving from processes in all sorts of other knowledge areas. And, and understanding this pattern can help you really understand more clearly how change requests work within PMI's framework for project management, and this can help you uh, on the PMP exam.